Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Auckland teal, crepuscular and flightless ducks that are endemic to the subantarctic Auckland Island group. I hope you enjoy. Auckland teals are sexually dimorphic in plumage and size, with both sexes being darkish brown, but with males having a green iridescence on the head, a darker breast and a smudgy white patch at the tail base. They are notable for being some of the few surviving flightless ducks, with their wings being very short and the main wing feathers extending only about halfway along the back. Birds are mostly crepuscular and or nocturnal, doing so to hide from diurnal predators like New Zealand falcons and skewers. They also inhabit a variety of habitats within the different islands, including tussock fields, shrubland and coastal waters, being carnivorous for the most part, feeding on marine invertebrates and amphipods, as well as stripping seeds from rushes and grass. They are monogamous and fiercely territorial, with their ranges being between 4 to 3,700 metres squares. Unpaired birds have however been seen in small flocks, indicating that they will congregate together despite this. Egg-laying may commence at the end of October, with the first broods being encountered in early December, with each of their three to four eggs weighing around 15% of the female's body weight, which is, proportionally, one of the largest eggs known to be laid by a waterfowl. Both adults contribute to parental care, although incubation is done by the female alone for up to 30 to 35 days before the eggs hatch. They are commonly seen, but are never numerous, with a population estimate of around 1,000 being the most likely, following their recent increase on Enderby and Rose Islands. They are also smaller and rarer than the brown teal of the main islands, a species from which it was once considered conspecific, although the plumage is overall darker, and the geographic isolation, size and genetic differences do indicate that they are separate. They occur on seven pest-free islands, although they have been extirpated on the main islands through predation by cats and pigs. Although the eradication of rabbits from Enderby and Rose Islands in 1993 has resulted in an increase of these birds due to the recovery of grasses and rushes along streams and along sheltered shorelines. Because of this, they are probably the most secure of the three New Zealand brown plumage teals, but more work still needs to be done. Pigs, cats and mice have proven tremendously hard to remove, given the size of the island around 442 km squares, making it the fifth largest island in the New Zealand region. This, coupled with the harsh weather and ruggedness, means that this will be a major challenge to overcome. But if these birds are to re-establish, then it is key to do so. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the former Prion, a poorly known species that is still remarkable nonetheless. With that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.